Have you been blown away by ChatGPT's amazing abilities to generate text? Well, I'm about to show you how you can use ChatGPT to reverse engineer code. In fact, I'm gonna show you how to turn this website here into this particular prompt. To start with, we're going to go grab the code for that page, which is this one here. And we're going to paste it into this little box, unprompt toolbox, and click generate. Then we'll make a new chat and paste the first prompt in. Uh, it's pretty important that you let ChatGPT run. You can't just go stop generating and uh, otherwise it won't work. So these are the first two. We just have to check that the prompt is a good prompt that starts with right. Yep, that's perfect. Now let's copy the actual code prompt. And hopefully this will give us a prompt that can reproduce this. So I'll give you a demonstration of how this works. So in order to fit code more neatly into ChatGPT, I made a script that removes all the comments. It shows you, basically cuts down the actual character count by half. So now we've got our ChatGPT prompt. Let's create a new chat and test it. Let's see if it's going to produce something that does roughly the same thing. It doesn't get it right all the time. Sometimes it's the prompt, sometimes it's the generation, but more often than not, you do get something that's quite usable. Okay, that's good enough. Now we're going to copy the code back into VS Code, and let's see if this prompt worked. Okay, so we've got our two text box. Let's grab the sitemap code and see if it works. No, it did not work. It cut off the everything after the first comment. So perhaps we'll try regenerating and see if it works a second time. Okay, it's finished doing that. Now let's paste it into our page and give it a test. Grab our code. And this time it worked. So there's the input text. Mine's a little bit different because I got rid of the double spacing. Uh, but other than that, it seems to work perfectly. And that is how you reverse prompt engineer code using GPT. So if you're interested in more videos about how to reverse engineer prompts, and pr reverse engineering prompts is a great way to learn prompt engineering properly, because I don't think there's any teachers out there that are good enough to actually teach it yet, then subscribe to the channel, hit like, and I'll see you in the next video.